they went into any kind of battle and that the people would come and be judged by her as she sat under a palm tree. So we thank God for those women who allowed God to use them, although it may not still be popular, it's a rather hard job for a woman to be respected even in ministry. There are those of you that God has called into the preach word ministry and you're challenged with the idea of standing in front of people knowing that whatever you say to people, you're going to be challenged, you're going to be attacked, you're going to be under scrutiny. There are many issues that come along with the office, but nevertheless, we praise God for the office because if God called us, we must be obedient, humble, and submissive to his will and his word. So we thank God for the women that knew how to pray and knew how to keep silent but pray in their spirit. But this woman had a different type of posture. She had an issue that she was dealing with in her home. She had a daughter that the Bible says that was grievously vexed with a devil. Now I know that in uh, the year 2009, some of us in church have not been accustomed to demonic activity. But me growing up in church, I remember when there were people who would be demon possessed and my pastor, she would get oil and she would throw oil on them and lay hands on them and begin to rebuke them in the name of Jesus. And we saw sound, heard sounds that we never heard coming out of a human being before. We saw people levitating off of the ground. We saw people vomiting and spitting up all kinds of vile and nasty, deplorable stuff coming out of them. We heard them audibly speak and speak to the leaders and tell them, I had to come get you myself because I sent a demon and it was not strong enough. It was not powerful enough. So I had to come myself. And the devil himself would get it. are 